I think, you know, growing up in Austin and coming to the ballet, and I've just always admired dancers and choreographers, and to meet Steven, it was such a kind of unexpected surprise when he asked if I would have any interest in doing a ballet. I'm Natalie Frank, and I'm an artist. When I read the text, a lot of the narrative figuration and the color of like what color they should be and how the figures should be arranged kind of sprung to mind. And that was the first time that it really happened. That set off my path onto working with literature. This area of feminist um, fairy telling, an artist really hasn't captured that. So they were never intended for children. They were intended as cautionary tales about what life is really like. And what's most interesting to me is they begin as women's oral tales. So women all around Germany collected these stories for centuries. And at the time of the Brothers Grimm, they brought them to the brothers, to their homes. Um, or when the brothers would travel, they would come to them and tell them the stories. The Grimm's brothers wrote them down and changed them for poetics. So these tales have been kind of adapted and played with with an eye towards different power relationships through the years based on who is shaping them. Usually men taking out the parts that are threatening to them about women's power. And so I tried in the way that I drew the stories to kind of reclaim some of that power for the women. And I did that through showing characters that were evil um, and taking pleasure in that and not casting them necessarily as villainesses. What perspective was I telling and who was I telling the story through? It's been a huge gift to be able to take on this kind of performance because I have absolutely no experience with anything in three dimensions. The ability to bring small 22 by 30 inch drawings to life on a scale of this size is pretty mind-blowing and a little bit scary. I think why I was drawn and have been drawn to books is the idea of taking something that's in your head and making an immersive environment out of it and what could be more immersive than a whole stage with sets, costumes, you know, a whole production, it's a whole world.